this is Michael Hutchinson from BloodyElbow.com, and we have breaking news. Conor McGregor has finally come out and explained his entire side of the situation. He has broken his silence, and he has done it with a Facebook post. And here is the Facebook post. Yeah, that's long. So, I'll summarize basically what he said. He posted this not too long ago. Basically, what he's saying is that he has been a promoter, but that's not his job. His job is to fight, and he's been doing the job of everybody else, and it's time for him to do what his job is, and that's to fight. So, he explains in it that he doesn't want to have to take pictures with people and do media with people that don't, that don't care about him. He has to focus on himself, especially coming off of the Nate Diaz loss, saying that he spent a lot of money to fly people out from different locations to Iceland in order to get his training right. And he says that if he has to go off and do these press events that he is not going to be properly prepared for the fight. Uh, he also went keeping that 10 million to promote the other bums that need it. My shows are good. He basically says that his retirement tweet was able to generate more press than if he went on the promotional tour that the UFC said cost them 10 million dollars. So he says you can keep your 10 million dollars because I just saved you three times that money by doing all of this promotion. And uh, he goes on to say, I feel like the $400 million I've generated for the company in my last three events all inside of eight months is enough to get me some slight leeway, which I think we should would all agree with, that he's done more for the UFC than what the UFC has done for him. Uh, if this is not enough, or they feel I've not deserved to sit uh, this promotion run out of one time, well then I don't know what to say. Uh, so he's basically saying that he doesn't know what to say if the UFC is not going to let him fight at UFC 200. And then says, at the very bottom, for the record, I am not retired. Says that to the UFC and the USADA, because if he was retired, then there's this whole entire thing that he would have to submit forms to the USADA, and that would make it so that he wouldn't be able to fight in a four-month span, because they would have to stop drug testing him. But if he isn't retired, then they'll continue to drug test him. So... This has revealed that Conor McGregor has not retired, which is something I think we all assume that he didn't actually retire. But he says a lot in this. I will post the link uh, to his Facebook post in the description below. It's a great read, but basically he is frustrated with the fact that he has done so much promotion and has gotten so little in return. And all he wants is just for this next week or so, to be left alone to train and prepare for the Nate Diaz fight. So we will see what happens from here on in, what the UFC will reply with. That should be fun to see this back and forth. Uh, if you want to follow all of this action, make sure to go to bloodyelbow.com every day and subscribe to MMA Nation for more breaking news videos. Thanks for watching.